News broke about two hours ago from the Arizona Republic's, I believe, Bob McManaman reporting that former now offensive line coach Sean Kugler has been fired by the Arizona Cardinals following an incident, an incident that took place Sunday night in Mexico City. That's as much as I know. But what do you know, Bo? You were just at the facility with the Cardinals just a few hours ago. Yeah, this is an incident that had nothing to do with Sean Kugler and as far as his coaching goes and the struggles of an offensive line that for the second straight week had to start four or five guys that were not starters previous to the start of the season. Sean Kugler was not relieved for the the lack of production from his group or the he was run game coordinator. This was something that happened off the field according to multiple reports. You know, Bobby Mack reported for AZ Central that this this went down Sunday night, and Kugler was not with the team for the massacre that happened Monday night with the 49ers just rolling them. Kugler actually was sent home earlier in the day. It was interesting. We talked to Cliff Kingsbury in his weekly press conference following the game, just kind of catching up with him. And Josh Weinfuss of ESPN.com asked uh, Cliff, before this report surfaced, if there was any co changes coming to the coaching staff. And he said point blank, no. And then the report surfaced 30 minutes later, and I, sources that I tapped into as far as why Cliff didn't mention anything about that is because they're going through the whole process of relieving Sean Kugler of his duties and everything that goes into that as you have to deal, obviously, with a, with a company, an organization in the Arizona Cardinals. They just have to you know cross their T's, dot their I's, and, and this is something that you know maybe could – potentially turn into a legal situation, but anytime anybody's fired and it's on what we can't speculate on when the grounds are, but it was uh, unceremoniously, you know, I'm sure that they have to make sure that they've got uh, er everything in order, but it, it still is strange that he just outright said no, but the Arizona Cardinals most well-respected coach. I don't think any of you guys will disagree with that, right? With Sean no. Kugler is sent packing. It's the second coach that's had an off the field incident, including the running backs coach back uh, in May, uh, who hasn't been with the team all season long. I mean, the hits keep coming for this organization, guys, and it's it's just it, it's a flaming portal out of a, of, a, of a team right now. Yeah, guys, it, it's sad, sad, sad. I mean, every aspect. I mean, we haven't even touched. I mean, it's so bad right now, we haven't even touched on the Monday night debacle that we all witnessed yesterday. But to have two coaches depart your team for – unfortunate unfortunate circumstances i mean it just doesn't it's not a good look and as we always talk about johnny Bo, optics are everything in this business and to your point about being a, a multi-billion dollar organization that is a you know any nfl franchise in the national football league there's going to be legal there's going to be human resources that they all have to make sure that they're very meticulous in this process and you know uh it, it's unfortunate that it transpired and one man's trash is another man's treasure. So, and, and I know, I believe one of you guys tweeted, who, who's the next man up uh, in, in, in Kugler's absence? I'm not, I'm not sure, Bo. Do you know the answer to that? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure as far as who the John? assistant yeah. offensive line coach is, but, you know, Sean Kugler. you Kugler's, have one of those guys? On staff? Yeah, do you, they, do you, they do. I mean, and, and Kugler was a guy that was, a, he was, he was a rising star in this organization. I mean, they were, they were making personnel moves on, you know, did you have a history with Sean Kugler? Will Hernandez was having arguably his best season as a pro after rejoin his former college coach as, as they worked together at UTEP in which made Will Hernandez kind of a draft darling or became kind of a draft bust. I mean, this is one thing's clear with this Kug this Kugler situation is the collaboration, like the understanding of doing what's necessary to win at any means necessary. It's nowhere to be found in this organization. They can't get out of their own way. They can't get their coaches on their sidelines. They're having things that are preventing their players from getting the training camp. You know, it, it's it's one incident after the other. Mexico City, Johnny, was clearly not viewed as a business trip for all the guys in this organization as one oh, yeah. guy was sent home. Yeah, party time, right? I want to get to a comment here from Breedle03. Uh, and I think this is this is something I wanted to bring up. Uh, he states, how can we hold Kugler accountable by firing, but Kime got six weeks suspension for a DUI? So number one, we don't know if it's a DUI or not. We were talking to Damon at, off air. And there's a, a good chance that none of the coaches had rental cars. They Ubered. They had paid travel. Um, and so I'm going to speculate right now that if it if it had been a DUI, it 
I would assume he gets suspended. Probably is suspended indefinitely. I don't know that for certain, but to your point, Vito, like if we're if we're taking Michael Bidwell face value here, and Kimes obviously holds a much higher position than Sean Kugler, but to Bo's point, Sean Kugler has been promoted multiple times with this franchise, and they, they did not want to get rid of Sean Kugler, the coach. So I, if I had to guess, I would say it was something else than, than a DUI or something like that. Driving under the influence, DWI, but we don't know for sure. Um, so we're not going to speculate further, but it had to be bad enough where the team just goes, nope, you're gone. I mean, James yeah. Saxon had domestic charges brought to him and was placed on administrative leave. He, he hasn't been fired yet. I think he's still getting paychecks. Like Sean Kugler is no longer with this organization following what happened Sunday night. And here's what I also will say is it, the reaction then becomes, well, we're going to find out on a hard knocks. Are we going to find out? Because I mean, you guys like kind of famously know now that the Eno <laughs> Benjamin situation was a thing and then it wasn't a thing. And why isn't a thing anymore? And we're not supposed to get answers on that. I don't think there's a guarantee that we hear about this on hard knocks, which I mean, think of that what you will uh, regarding that show. I know we're going to be covered tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening after it airs, but the Cardinals have a culture problem. They thought, and I tweeted this out, willingly signing up for in-season hard knocks was a good idea to showcase their culture, to showcase how far they've come. We've got this young hotshot quarterback and this head coach and the GM. We just extended them. It literally could not go any worse. Half the team no. is injured. The franchise quarterback is being mocked and ridiculed on national broadcasts. If you watch the ESPN pre-show last night, you go to Mexico City. You have 10% of the fans. You're blown out, right? You have incident after incident after incident. And now probably, I would say, had Cliff Kingsbury been fired, we all just would have agreed Vance would have taken the interim. But like Sean Kugler was probably first in line to, to run the offense. Now Sean Kugler is gone. And this team sitting at four and seven, Bo, is in a position where they're just trying to, to take it day by day. I don't know how they survive literally the rest of the season because it seems like every other week we get something like this. Yeah, it, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I, it, it, I kind of feel for Cliff Kingsbury because as far as the privilege of getting the coach or play in this league, it, it's lost on a lot of the guys in that organization. You, like You would think that the, the amount of money that you're getting to be a part of this game would be enough to, to keep you uh, you know, out of trouble, and, it, and it's not. And then Cliff Kingsbury has to go to professionals – and pretty much, I mean, he has to he has to drop the hammer. He should have dropped the hammer a long time ago. And it's it's unfortunate because you think that this team coming off a playoff appearance the previous season that they had kind of in their sights what they wanted to accomplish, and it, it doesn't seem like that's the goal of, of too, too far too many people as far as the, the coaching staff goes and how the players go. I mean, to your point, as far as what Hard Knocks is going to show or what it won't show is they're putting this organization's now putting you know a, a pretty proud institution in NFL films in a position for a second straight week that if they omit this they're going to be looked at as an NFL and I think Dan Blickley said it pretty well like an NFL propaganda machine at this point yeah, a I mean, if, if if you're just kind of glossing over the bad parts and only showing the good parts to, and, and they are good like the the Buda Baker stories and the stories that need to be told that's great but if if you're also not looking at the the tough part of this game and the ugly side of this game you're not telling the entire story and that's what people liked about this hard knocks is is the transparency and the glimpse inside the nfl game damien well, well guys i think at times people tend to fixate on these professional athletes you know myself you know a long time ago was one as well and they hold them on this pedestal and i think that they forget Bo, to your earlier point that just because these guys make hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, hundreds of million dollars in certain contexts, that they're not human and they're not susceptible to, you know, make, making bad decisions. Right. I mean, if it we I don't know about Sean Kugler's background, I'm not even going to pretend to speculate what happened. However, yeah. it just looks bad on all fronts. Right. The fact that you want to keep things consistent, you want to you want it to be fair. But we all know as three grown men, life isn't fair. You know, that's not how it goes. And to some that we just, we talk about this on the show about uh, about Rondell Moore being in a position versus Greg Dortch. Where every time Greg Dortch gets the opportunity, he shines. But anytime Rondell Moore is healthy, he goes to the sideline. And the same thing is applicable here 
with, you know, this, this coaching environment, you know, people talk about, you know, holding, you know, Steve Kahn accountable. Steve Kahn is a human. And I guarantee you more than anything, he wants this Cardinals organization to shine. And I think to you guys' point about being transparent and wanting that, I, I, as you talked about, yeah, there's some great stories. And I think the cinematography in the, in the music that they play behind the scenes is great. We all buy in, we're all entrenched in everything, you know, that is, is bird, bird gang, right? Arizona Cardinals football. But at the same point, you don't want to lose the credibility with the viewers and the people that knows, you know, that people like that are in the know, that pay attention, that read the tweets, that have a pulse to the team. And you want to know exactly what happened. And, Obviously, the Eno Benjamin situation, there is no, you know, uh, film of that. But this Kugler, you know, being highly visible as a, you know, O-line coach. And he, he had a huge part of the last show, you know, mm -hmm. in his relationship with, you know, some young guys playing. So I don't know how that cannot be a part moving forward unless they just don't want it to be. And it, it just shows a bad, you know, face for, their, for the NFL as, a, as, a, as a shield as a whole, guys.